This generation of consoles has been just so, so unpredictable. The Xbox One completely shattered everyone's expectations, and not in a good way. The Wii U ended up becoming Nintendo's worst selling home console to date, and yet it was the successor to Nintendo's best selling home console. The PS4 ended up launching a virtual reality headset as well as a camera, and a more powerful version of the original PS4 called the PlayStation 4 Pro. Microsoft announced two consoles at the same time with the Xbox One S and Project Scorpio. The following year, it turned out to be the Xbox One X. Now, the One X is currently the most powerful home gaming console, and it does have the potential to make competitors consider making a console to one-up the X, because they may feel threatened by the power the thing has. So if Sony feels like the Xbox One X is pushing them out of their comfort zone, then they might think of releasing their next console earlier than anticipated. And that is what we are discussing today. Will Sony release the PlayStation 5 in 2018? And if they do, is it because of the Xbox One X? Sony already said in an interview with a German website that the PlayStation 5 is indeed coming, but not anytime soon. Ever since, people have been trying to predict when Sony's next console, the PS5, will hit store shelves. Some people are saying 2019, some are saying 2018, and a few are saying somewhere in the 2020s, but Sony hasn't officially come out and said when it's coming out yet. So we can't tell who's right or wrong right now, but we can take a guess. So do I think the PlayStation 5 is coming out in 2018? Absolutely not. I mean, if you are positive that the PlayStation 5 will undoubtedly release in 2018, let me just tell you why I really think it's not going to release that early. So starting off, let's look at the list of all the PlayStation consoles release dates. The PlayStation 1 first came out in 1994. Its successor, the PlayStation 2, came out in 2000. So its generation lasted around 6 years. The PlayStation 2 also lasted around 6 years. So then came the PS3 in 2006, which broke the tradition of previous PlayStation consoles and lasted around 7 years. But that's still pretty close to the normal lifespan of a PlayStation console, so let's say that Sony likes to shoot for around 6 years of a console's lifespan. So that would mean, if the PlayStation 4 followed the same formula, it would have its successor made around 2018. You could count the PlayStation 4 Pro as a successor, but not only did that piece of hardware just release, which I'll get into in a second, but it's also still known as the PS4, so that means it's just an upgrade. On top of that, you have to agree that it would be a stupid decision to release another PlayStation console, not even three years after one already came out. If Sony cares about the PlayStation 4 Pro, which I think they do, they will give it a longer lifespan than just two years. And could you imagine how mad people would be if they paid $400 for a new gaming system and they couldn't even get three years out of it before a successor came out? I would imagine raging PS4 Pro owners would probably decimate Sony's Twitter and probably some would ask for refunds. Also, don't forget that the PS4 came out in 2013. So if Sony released their new console in 2018, then it would break the basic PlayStation formula, but it's close enough, so it's not a huge deal. But Sony has never shot for under six years of a console lifespan. Not to mention, other companies have tried releasing a game console way before it's needed, such as Sega with the Saturn and the Dreamcast. And you know how that did for them? So, it would just be an overall disaster for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, PS4 Pro, and pretty much all of PlayStation. So, Sony, remember that the PS4 is doing good enough to hold its own against the Xbox One X. Yes, the Xbox One X is a very powerful system, but it's currently lacking in exclusives. Sony has a good amount of exclusives, third-party support, and games. So it comes down to games versus hardware. And I think since Sony has games in the green, they won't need to have to worry about hardware. They already have a pretty powerful system with a good amount of games on it. And also, if Xbox steps up its game with the X and makes sure to get its sales going up, then okay, I could see why Sony would be scared. 
but hopefully they would keep to their senses and remember that they just recently made a new piece of hardware. I don't want to give anyone who thinks that the PS5 will release in 2018 any hard feelings, but I really think that it would just be a dumb move for Sony to release a PlayStation 5 that soon. Now I know some people would also ask, what if they aren't scared of the Xbox One X, but rather the Nintendo Switch, or both the One X and the Switch? The One X has the power to be a next gen console, and technically the Switch is a 9th gen system. Alright, so that's actually a pretty valid point. The Switch is selling well, in some places it is even outselling the PS4. But that doesn't mean that my previous point is invalid here. Sony should not make another console so soon, no matter how big the competition is. So when do I think the PlayStation 5 will come out? Well, I don't know for sure, but I guess around 2020. And that's because I think Sony needs to give the PlayStation 4 Pro a bit of a lifespan before knocking it down with the next generation's console. And that's because I think Sony needs to give the PlayStation 4 Pro a bit of a lifespan before just knocking it down with a next generation piece of hardware. So overall, I really, really advise Sony to wait with the PS5. The Xbox One X is a pretty strong console and is superior to the PS4 Pro when it comes to specs, but Sony, you're good. You don't need any more hardware for at least the next couple years. I know I'm not the only one telling Sony this, but even so, I still want to make this video to let everyone know why Sony shouldn't release the PS5 in 2018 and why they probably aren't going to. So, I hope you did enjoy this video. It would be appreciated if you shared this video, but it's always up to you. I'll have a link to my other social medias in the description, and see you.